Control Center is full of features that are extremely useful for day-to-day -day use. Everything you're about to see here can be added or removed to the Control Center by going to Settings, Control Center, and toggling any of these on or off. Tapping and dragging on the lines will also change the order they show up in Control Center. Now, with that out the way, let's get started. Here are the most useful Control Center features on your iPhone. Never miss out on finding your next favorite song with the Shazam button. Tap it and your phone will start listening and detect whatever song is playing around you. And if you long press it, you get a history of your discovered songs. You probably know that you can turn on Do Not Disturb and other focus modes straight from Control Center, but what you may not realize is you can actually set these to automatically turn off whenever you leave your current location. This is great for when you're working at an office or a coffee shop, you want to stay focused but you're not really sure when you're going to leave. This button creates a quick note which lets you capture ideas on the fly and save them at the top of the notes app for organizing later. The fastest way to change Bluetooth or Wi-Fi is by long pressing once, then twice and selecting whatever device you want to connect to. This button toggles whatever you've set to your accessibility shortcut. Since I haven't set one yet, I can tap this to set it up and here you'll see we have a lot of options. A lot of these are pretty niche, but there's two that actually can be useful for a lot of people. Reduce white point is the first one. This is great to use at night for getting better sleep. It makes your phone even dimmer than you're allowed to go using just the slider. To customize just how dark reduce white point makes Makes your phone you can go to settings and then accessibility and then display and text size when you turn reduce white point on you'll be able to adjust the intensity with this slider going back to our accessibility shortcuts the other one that you might find useful is color filters this turns your screen black and white it sounds maybe a little crazy but a lot of people use this to make their phone less appealing during work hours now that i have both of these accessibility shortcuts on i can open up control center again and tap this button to turn either one on or off if you find the text on your phone to be sometimes too big or sometimes too small, add this text size adjuster. Tap it and you can adjust the text size of either the specific app you're on or all apps at once. Long press the screen record button to toggle on the microphone. This will let you narrate your recordings to add more context. Long press the display slider and you can toggle on dark mode, night shift, and true tone. You probably already know about dark mode and night shift, but true tone, in case you didn't know, causes the screen to appear either warmer or cooler to match the light around you. Some people find it to reduce eye strain, but if your colors ever seem weird, you might want to try turning this off. Long press the camera button to open in a specific shooting mode. I find this is just a little bit faster than opening the camera first and then switching modes. And you may have noticed Notice that long pressing is how we unlock a lot of additional features. This also includes the flashlight, so if we long press this, we'll be able to adjust how dim the flashlight is. We can also long press the timer button to set a custom timer. By the way, you can also have additional timers running at once by hitting this plus button right here. If you have an Apple Watch but lost it, you can use this button to ping it. And finally, this ear button lets you do two pretty unique things. You'll be able to turn on peaceful background sounds, which can be nice for helping you focus, or you can turn on live listen. Your phone's microphone will become quite sensitive and you'll be able to listen in through your AirPods or Beats on whatever it picks up. And one last thing for those who have Apple Home set up. If you go to the control center settings, you'll be able to show home controls. Toggle this on and you can control any smart home devices straight from Control Center.